In the previous video, I talked about Telerik UI for ASP.NET Core and Kendo UI. I showed where you can get a 30-day free trial and how you can find the documentation and get started and install the product. In this video, I want to talk about the prototype application. This is going to be our eventual finished product once we add tag helpers and make this a nice robust application. Now I'm starting here because this gives us a good point of reference where we can uh, start working through this prototype and replacing all of these dummy placeholder values uh, with rich UI components. So we have things like a date picker, a list of team members, and then we have these images that are holding places for our charts and our avatars. And then we have a simple data grid. Now, for the most part, this is just bootstrap and regular HTML. And we're building this inside of Visual Studio. Now, in Visual Studio, we are using ASP.NET Core. This is an MVC style application. And most of the work will be done here in our home folder underneath our views. If I look at my index, this is that, that prototype application that we were just looking at. It's some pretty basic HTML right now. And for example, you can see these are our inputs where we have those date pickers and we have our employee list that we'll be replacing with a nice tree view that we can drill down and uh, view team members from our that are pulled from our database. And we're going to report on the person that we select and the dates that we select. And when I say report on that, we're going to display that data inside of a data grid, which will replace this table control or this basic table markup that is holding the place for us. So throughout the series, we'll be replacing these simple UI elements with some robust tag helper controls. In the next video, we'll start replacing some of those elements in the prototype with tag helpers, starting with the labels and date pickers.